Why will you not let me hit the penguin? What's the problem with that? Okay, let's try. Okay, let's try this one. No, no, not so much. Okay, I've given up. Nope, I haven't given up. Nope. It, uh, none of them. So let me just get this out of the way right up at the front. I know like nothing about Adventure Time. I know that there is a Finn, and I know that there is a Jake, and we can see them here right now, but I really don't know anything about their story. But that's not going to stop me from playing their game, because it looked kind of neat. And so, let us play Pirates of the en Enchi- Kai- The Enchiladian. Mmm, tasty Enchiladian. Since I don't have any sort of frame of reference for the characters of the world or anything, I have to look at this game completely on its own merits. And that means we're going to have to look a little bit at the gameplay and try and figure out what we like about the characters and the storyline independent of anything I would know about the show. And that's a really interesting prospect, and I do encourage people to try that with franchises that you are not familiar with. You get a really interesting sense of if you think these characters work outside of their original platform by being able to look at things independently of it. I've tried it a few times in the past, and the one most notable time was uh, Sword Art Online, which I didn't even realize was... A, 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 an anime. I thought maybe it was just a franchise that was a video game series, but trust me, the internet corrected me on that. Uh, oh thanks, internet. So what can I tell you about pilots of the Chinchilladian? Chin... Chimchimmery Chuvenin. That... Well, I can tell you that it is a turn-based RPG, and that it has a lot of personality, and that the characters are very engaging, even though I didn't really know anything about them, and that it has a leveling up system involved in it, and it has special moves that you get powered up throughout the game by uh, attacking with normal combat moves, and that you get to visit multiple kingdoms throughout the game, uh, a fire world and an ice world, I believe it's the ice kingdom and fire kingdom, and a candy kingdom, which uh, of course is the most colorful and delicious of all the kingdoms. And as you gain money, you are able to invest it in stats and special moves for your characters. And eventually you get four characters in all. So that actually makes things a whole lot easier. The turn-based gameplay actually works pretty well. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, makes it easy to pick up and play. Uh, and of course, the whole thing is really engaging, being able to just get out on the ocean, sail around, get to new ports, and do uh, a bunch of little side missions in the meantime, usually picking up some penguins or candy kids. It's a it, it's an odd game, an odd lore, but uh, I liked it. I thought that it was fun, and fun is kind of what games are about. So overall, it was doing a darn good job. The two extra characters that you get after Finn and Jake are Marcy, who's apparently a vampire and also a demon, uh, but also a pirate, and has uh, an axe that is also a guitar, which is also an axe. So, she's got that going on for her. She's uh, probably the best of all the characters. And then, of course, Bimo, who is apparently a small uh, Game Boy-like creature uh, that ends up being really OP when you level him up, because he gets this shock move, and the second that that becomes an option, uh, basically you just zap people to death all the time. And that's pretty great. Uh, you know, I did not expect that from my little computer character, but uh, there you go. I do have to say that the design of the game, the actual look and feel of the game, is really where it shines. You know, it feels like you are actually inside of a cartoon. The characters feel like they are actually in the show. The voice acting is terrific, the sound design is great, the graphic design is really innovative and fun, and it just lends itself to feeling very endearing 
even for people who are not familiar with any of this, like me. Why are you guys in so mean to me? I was just trying to invite you to my birthday party. However, if we're going to talk about game design, and we're, we're going to have to at some point, there are some real problems that need to be addressed, and one of them is probably going to be the length, although I would not say it's particularly short, it is not very long either, and one of the best ways to describe that is that there are only 10 levels, so once you've reached level 10 you have maxed out, uh, and mostly what you're doing to actually level up your character is spending money, or dosh, as they say in the game. Even so, it's not really that long. I mean, at least by modern gaming standards, I would say that as far as an adventure game goes, it's probably what you would expect, you know, probably about 15 hours or so. Uh, it's fine, but, you know, if you were looking for the 30 or 40 hour games that you usually get, eh, this is gonna feel kind of truncated. And this leads me to probably the biggest issue that I actually had with the game, uh, is just how long the load screens are, and how many of them there are, sometimes during transitions between different areas, uh, but also before every single battle. And they are really longer than you think, to the point where you're almost staring at your watch, wondering when this load screen is going to end. Uh, and it just keeps going and going and going, uh, even when you are about to activate cutscenes. For some reason, load screens come in, and I don't really even understand that. Wouldn't you just make the cutscene go? There's no gameplay that you're loading up at that point. So those are kind of technical issues that just take you out of the experience. You also have to get used to the fact that the terminology in the game is not what you're used to. You know, if you say an enemy is boggled, you might get a little confused by that. Luckily, they do tell you what each of these status effects actually means. And basically, boggled is like confused. Flipping out is, like, enraged. There's a lot of uh, fun little nods like that. Uh, but, you know, just sailing around the world and uh, seeing how your characters all have certain things that they do, they do well, they have to be used in certain ways to access different areas of the game, that's all really nice. And, you know, what's really great is that it's so rare to see turn-based combat and RPGs nowadays. It just is. And so being able to see it here, uh, especially done with these very colorful characters, is really neat. And the best compliment that I can really give this game is that after playing it, it really made me want to know more about Adventure Time and about these characters, because they really seemed engaging and fun. And you know what? That's a great thing to say about any kind of property because it's not just the base property being able to be used to sell a product but if those exterior products like for instance pirates of the uh, uh chipotle don if they can be seen as a valuable selling tool on a franchise then they've really done a remarkable job it's so rare that that happens. Usually, when you have licensed properties like this, you are relying on them to be selling the game. But in this particular case, the game might just sell you on the franchise. And that's a big deal. Uh, so if you don't mind me, I am going to go pull myself a plug and then hopefully not get scronked out. Uh, that's apparently knocked out in this game. Yeah. I think I'll just rest here. Okay, yeah, there's one other small thing that's really strange. Sometimes they'll give you these stealth sections in the game, and Marcy is the one that does the actual stealth parts, but then if you can't get the stealth part to work well enough, uh, the enemies just attack, and none of your other characters will come around, and then Marcy's just left there all by herself, and while she is a pretty formidable opponent, and has like the, the, the claws and stuff that she can do, which is pretty sweet, uh, I, I would rather that I can get the other characters in there too. Uh, they're just standing off to the side waiting for her to complete this mission. Uh, maybe not have stealth in a game like this. Yeah, I, I know I'm finding enemies tough because I only have the one character. <laughs>